Hi guys, welcome to my pet, um, like, it's not my pet channel, but my channel, and actually, I hate to say it, but this is my sister's channel too, so I am going to be making a new channel, either, um, close to the end of September, like, the end of September, or the beginning of October, and you can watch all my videos, I think I'm gonna name my channel um, Pet Kale, oh, I don't know what I'm going to name it, but, uh, I'll name it, I think I'm going to have a name, so I'm probably going to name it Pet Kale Darn Gindle, um, because that's my last name, and you can look that up on YouTube, and then you can watch it, but my videos on this channel are still going to be here, they're not going to be deleted, um, so I'll probably announce it on this channel when I've made my new channel, what its name is, and it will be that simple. So today we're going to do how to tame your hamster, which many people ask me the more, like, they're so scared, like, oh, I want a cute hamster. Um, fourth people are afraid a hamster's going to bite you, but really, hamsters only bite when they're scared. A couple of ways to stop a hamster from biting is to wash your hands. If you taste like food, they're going to bite you. Also, try methods like picking them up in a mug and then putting them on your hand or using a toilet paper tube. That way you're not just snatching them like, because that'll scare them. Um, so this video is just going to start out in the first two to three days you should leave your hamster alone um and after that you can start wrestling your hands around in these shavings so after that you can give your hamster some toilet paper and then we're going to start the box bonding keep in mind my hamster's already tamed so he's gonna do what i'm doing and he's gonna know so first you're gonna need a box i'm actually using an amazon one that i got some of his toys in then you're gonna need towels or shavings from the bottom of your um from your cage not from the bottom of your cage from your cage i'm gonna use a towel because that's what my hamster likes now if your hamster is gonna go under heel make sure you don't put a towel in um today i'm not actually going to be using a towel because this box is smaller than the normal box and he'll be able to climb up but he'll probably be okay just in there for a day without a towel not a day just for like five minutes so let's get on with it you're gonna want a food bowl um you might have one in the cage you can use the same one but i like having one in there for my hamster you can, he puts shavings in his food, I don't know why, but you can get a treat and put it in there. Um, I don't know why, I, I he has two treats, he must have taken one from the other part of his cage. Um, and then I'm just going to be taking out some seeds and corn and handing them to him, but let me put my hamster in. So first, just let your hamster roam around, I... I'm a disaster and just spilled food everywhere. But, uh, we'll let your hamster. This is normally his dust bath box, so he's like, Where's my dust bath? But, we'll let your hamster roam around, get used to being in the new cage, which they might be curious like this. I'm gonna put in his dust bath because I think he wants one. So, yes, he did just want a dust bath. He loves them, but. You can start by getting the food. I know I made a mess. Um, picking out my hamster really likes the seeds. And you can just give him a seed when he's done dust bathing. Keep in mind that your hamster's not going to want a dust bath. But he knows that once a week he gets one and he loves them. So you can start by giving him a treat of his that he likes. If he wants one, he might not want one. Most hamsters might not be curious, and there he goes. So, he took it, and you want to keep doing this. You can do it in the cage, but, um, or you can do it out of the cage. My hamster liked it out of his cage. He didn't feel 100% comfortable with me putting his hand in the cage, and that is positively fine. And then, you can add their food bowl in, or just keep this up um 
And you're going to want to do this for a couple of days, like five or six. So until your hamster is comfortable with sitting in your hand, you can put some seeds or corn. My hamster really likes corn. And don't pick them up off the ground. But if you're a clumsy butt and drop stuff like me, and then you'll just hold your hand out and your hamster, if he's comfortable, will cl crawl on. And I'm not saying that he will be comfortable. All hamsters are different. So I picked up my hamster in his toilet paper tube and look at his cheeks. He took them right off my hand and then sat on my hand and then just left. So once your hamster is tame, he may be like, just give me the sugary treats. I'm not taking any of this anymore. But um, after that, you can start doing bathtub bonding, which is where you put your hamster in the bathtub and practice picking him up. If you want to watch tips on holding a hamster, you can watch that one next, but this is going to be the end of the video. Bye!